Oh shit, we're recording, aren't we? Okay. <laughs> this is the first recipe of the day and we've already gone off the rails, folks. Hello to all my new Milk Street friends. I'm so excited to be here with you in my very own kitchen. I didn't even have to commute. This is the home of all of the snacks that I like to make because I'm a snacker. Today, we are going to make a tamarind onion grilled cheese sandwich. A lot of people don't think about tamarind as a thing that should go in a grilled cheese sandwich, but they are wrong. <laughs> I am a first generation Sri Lankan American. My parents came here around early 70s. And one of the things that really influenced my food view and my childhood was mixing of these sort of traditional Sri Lankan ingredients with American components. So naturally, when we had a bunch of leftover cheese mixture from a tomato pie or a batch of chili cheese toast, and then, you know, a handful of sini sambal onions, it became almost second nature to put the two together just to get a better bite. First, I'm going to finely dice an onion. Now you can go full on minced onions for this, but I do like having a little bit of structural integrity on the onion because it really gives a nice crunch. I'm going to cut the tail end off of this little chili, and then I'm going to split it down the middle. Ooh, it smells good. It smells spicy, but it smells good. Look at that, it's already pretty. You wanna see? Ooh. <laughs> so I'm going to ceremoniously dump my cheddar cheese in and then ceremoniously dump my mozzarella cheese in. I'm also gonna throw in my little bit of red chili flake as well. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of salt as well, just to season up. And then I'm gonna take, for me, just enough of this mayonnaise to bind it. I like really squishy white bread for grilled cheese sandwiches. You can scoop this very gently onto the bread and spread it and, you know, be, super civilized about it, or you can do it the easy way and use your hands. I like to use my hands. I'm gonna try not to stub it in my face because it smells really good. And I'm just gonna spread it over these slices of bread. Why don't they have grilled cheese commercials? They would be really nice. <laughs> and get yeah, please over. I am a dingus. <laughs> I have totally forgotten Princess forgot to put on the Sini Sambal onions. The whole thing that makes the sandwich awesome is the tamarind onions. Sam, it says, it says it right. It says it, it, says it right there. <sighs> so I like to put Sini Sambal on pretty much anything super savory. I like to put it on toast. I like to put it on, I mean, what can't you put Sini Sambal on really? Now that I have remembered to Sini Sambal, my grilled cheese sandwiches. I'm gonna give you a quick cheat sheet on how to make some Sini Sambal. You can get some neutral oil into a pan. You're gonna heat it up until it's nice and shimmery. You're going to add in maybe a handful or two of curry leaves, crushed red chili, and a bunch of sliced up red onions. Once you cook them until they have this sort of translucence, stir in about a tablespoon or more of tamarind. Start slow with tamarind, but stir that in and let it cook down. You can let it cook for 15 minutes, you can let it cook for 45 minutes, but if you cook it low and slow, it really comes out beautifully. Got my nonstick sort of hard anodized, naturally nonstick pan up. With this guy, I'm going medium, medium, low, no problems. I'm going to do this in batches. Cheat sheet. How do you know that it's cooked through? Number one, if it's smoking up, it's probably overcooked. That's fine. Browning is great, but we want a nice golden crust. We don't want a super dark brown crust here. Three-ish minutes per side. Your second side's not going to take as long because the heat's already distributing through. But keep an eye on it and keep an ear on it, so that way you can see how far along you are. And boom, we're in a good spot. It looks good. You're pretty. Oh, we're ready. Yeah. He's ready. <laughs> All righty. So I got my sandwich here, beautiful golden brown, nice and melty, tastes really good. Kinda wanna take a bite right now. I'm gonna cut into it first. It's melty, cheesy goodness, a little bit of sini sambal in there. Nobody's, everybody's looking. This is a snack that's worth a happy food dance, I'm just saying. Join me back here soon. We're gonna make some more snacks together. But until then, let me know how you make this your own. I wanna see what kind of peppers you're using, what kind of different cheeses you're using. Any sort of way to make this amped up and awesome, 
I'm all for. So until then, snack hard, snack happy. And uh, we'll see you back soon.